Hi guys, um, I wanted to shoot a quick video and show you how I'm going to start storing my dies. Um, I've kind of already been doing this, but I've been using this system with my uh, dies that I don't use as often because I had a cabinet in here. I'm, I'm redoing my craft room and I had a cabinet in here and it had two doors open and on both sides of the cabinet I had uh, the flexible magnets going all the way down and I stored my most used dies that way. I had all my word dies on there and uh, you know like my nesting dies and stuff but I'm getting rid of that cabinet so I'm this is how I'm going to start storing my dies. Now this might change someday but for right now I think this is going to be a pretty good system. Um, so I had my most used in the cabinets and then I had these binders where I was storing my dies that I didn't use as often. But these binders came from Staples and they have uh, many different colors you can get these in. And they're nice and sturdy which is why I thought this would be good for storing dies. Um, Alright so I'll put links to everything too in the description below. But you can buy these uh, off Amazon. They're just they're just magnetic sheets and then it has adhesive on the back. And these come in a package of 12 I believe and then I purchased just the chipboard off Amazon and this comes in a pack of 25 but and I only do it on on one side I, um, you know these can get pretty heavy I do a total of 12 sheets in them and in each binder I have the front page I just leave with no dies on it it just I don't know I think it looks neater and um, I don't know I just like it with the front one blank so I, that's how I'm gonna do it so it's nice because I'm trying to keep similar dies together and that way I can kind of label the entire binder. But um, I know this is probably going to drive some people crazy because I don't have everything labeled and I didn't have them labeled in my cabinet either. But I store all of my dies and stamps in Evernote. So as soon as I get a stamp or a die, I put it in Evernote right away and I put lots of keywords in there. So if I needed you know, stitched anything, circles, rectangles, all I have to do is put in stitched and it'll pull up all of my dies that have anything to do with, you know, st stitching on them. You can also label these, you know, if you have a label maker, you can write them right on there with a Sharpie, but it's really easy to, to do. I'll show you here, but yeah, so see, I'm kind of keeping all my nesting dies. This is going to be my binder with all the nesting dies in it. It's eight and a half by 11 but that doesn't leave you much room. A lot of these are uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. So you can't really put two side by side because you know you have the holes here. So you just kind of have to get creative. That's why I have rectangles and circles on the same page. And it's kind of like a puzzle. You just have to you know, see <laughs> where things will fit. So the, the these hold pretty well. I know some of the dies like this is the one I use very often. When you run it through your die cutting machine, sometimes they bend. And so I just kind of bend it back and um, they stick pretty good. I, I know companies sell uh, sheets like this are about half the size and then you store them in a container. So this is basically just a bigger version of that. And I kind of enforced the holes here since this could get kind of heavy and yeah, let me show you. Let me show you how I do this. So, let me get this out of my way. This is really, really easy to do. One of these days, I'll do a a video on Evernote because that app is. I don't know what I would do without Evernote. And I used to store my dies with my stamps and I'll still store the dies like if I have a die that goes with a stamp I'll store them together but a I don't have enough room to store all my dies with my stamps the way I have my room set up now but also I was forgetting about a lot of the word dies may go with a stamp but you can also use it alone and I was forgetting about those dies so I just wasn't using them as often as I would like so I think this is going to work out better. Uh, you know, I wish I still had the cabinet, but I just didn't have room in here for it. So let me show you. So it's really nice that these have adhesive on the back, but I also have some that that 
didn't come with adhesive. So I just put, you know, liquid glue on the back and then stick it just the same. But so all I'm going to do is line this up. Seems like some of them aren't quite as big. It seems like there's, you know, maybe they're a little bit shorter than eight and a half by 11, but this side is going to be on the inside of the binder anyway, or if I don't line it up um, perfectly, then, you know, this is where I'll punch my holes and I'll never, ever see it. So I'm just going to stick that on there. And so far these have stuck really well. And it's pretty sturdy, you know, because the magnet's kind of uh, thick and then the chipboard. So then I just have uh, one of these that I use as my guide here to punch my holes. So I'm just going to line them up. One of these days, I want to do a video on Evernote because it is so handy for uh, keeping track of your stamps and dies and stencils and bossing folders. I keep a lot of stuff in there. All right, so I have my holes there. I got my little crocodile here, and I'm going to use the, the biggest hole punch here. And I want to make sure I line it up right because I don't want my pages to not turn easy. So I'm just going to go through. So I usually Besides adding good um, like keywords and Evernote, a lot of my dies I know who made them. Obviously, when I when I get them, I'm put them away. I know who the maker is, so I'll just go in and put in Lawn Fawn, and it'll pull up everything that I have stored in there with uh, Lawn Fawn as a keyword. It's a really nice, really nice app. All right. Then, just to kind of beef up my pages here, because you know they're gonna get it even heavier. I'm gonna put these little things that I also got off Amazon. This is the most I've ever used this little thing right here. And then this just kind of beefs up, uh, beefs up your page a bit. And then I just put them in the binder. So I'll have like these ones. I'll have all my my word dies. You know, with similar words, I'll store them on the same sheet. But this is this is my new way of storing. If I can find a picture of how I stored my dies before, I'll add that somewhere in here. But it worked really well. I loved being able to see my most used dies, but just don't have room for it anymore. So. Yep, that's how I'm going to be storing my dies. So I'd love to hear how you guys store your dies. I, I did, um, I researched a bunch of different ways to store them, but um, this is just the, the best way. I wanted to, if I had the room, I wanted to do um, a part of, of a wall and have it all magnet and put my dies on that, but it just didn't work out for, you know, the vision I had of this room that just didn't work out. So this is how I'm going to store them. All right. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.